This is round three of the Sensei Grand Prix, four rounds of random seed nine hole stroke play. These are the current standings and at the end of round four, the top two golfers will advance to the 18 hole final. These are the odds for the outright win today in round three. Spoko Square Casino has given everyone $110 and you can bet it how you like. At the end of the round, we will add up the total scores and today's over under is set at minus 46.5 with these odds. Let me know what your bet slip is before the game starts and let's see if you can fleece the casino today or if they will be getting the better of you. We got 13 here, first hole, Chad going full power, seven, nice. not a bad play, needs the spin. Okay, that wasn't too bad. He should be in for birdie, but he didn't quite get the spin that he wanted. Or he should have just gone, you know, less less power there. Mrs. Sensei is up, currently in second place overall. And she's going 5-iron, actually, which is interesting. Different than what Chad did. Seemingly less power. Ooh, but not quite enough spin there. Okay, so a bit closer than Grandpa Chad. Still no hole-in-ones, though. We got Sensei Jr. and Sensei, the last golfers, up to T. 7-iron play we see. Less power than Grandpa Chad. Uh, that doesn't look too bad, actually. Ooh! Inches! Holy! That looks to be literally an inch to the left. That is crazy. Let's see if Sensei can start this round off with a hole-in-one. He's watched four other golfers go. He got pretty good reads off of all of them. Nice shot! Oh, bang. Literally bang. That was a great hole-in-one to start off the round. I mean, Sensei's in fourth place. If he wants to make the final, he needs, he needs a really big round today. That was the perfect start. The literal perfect start. Now, I don't expect any pars here. I think we will see all these golfers tap in their birdie putts. The real question is how many bang, literally bangs, are we going to get in this video, in this round of golf? I mean, I don't know, like, should we set the over-under at five and a half? Moving on to hole nine here, wow, 31 mile an hour nice. tailwind. This will be really interesting. Even with this wind, Albatross nice is going to be really tricky, but I think we're going to see four nice players on the green after two. And yeah, let's stick the nice. over-under for how many bangs at five and a half. I will guess over. That's my, uh... That's my prediction, over five and a half. You can let me know your prediction if you would like. So, Junior up first. Wind pushing a little bit to the right. Gonna need to be very precise on the power here. Yeah, three iron definitely the play here. I mean, I guess you could go driver spoon, three iron. Obviously, you just gotta go under full power. Let's see what happens here, though. Uh, decent aim, actually. A few feet to the left, but that is too much power, and he goes... I mean, listen, anytime you're on the green in two on hole nine, that is a success. But he's left with a 28-footer. Not, not an easy putt. Nice shot. Looks like Chad will be taking a little bit off of that after watching... After taking all the data that he got from, uh, Junior's stroke. Ooh, wow. Inches. Inches to the right. Okay. Nice. Got the power quite a bit better this time. And after watching that, will Mrs. Sensei get an albatross here? Nice like I said, gonna be hard, but after you watch two golfers go before you, you can make the adjustments necessary. Ooh, and that looks to be almost the exact same stroke nice. as Grandpa Chad, just a little bit to the, the right there. Lastly, it's up to Sensei. Already one stroke up. Imagine. Nice shot. Imagine he gets an albatross here that goes up two strokes. And a little bit left. Okay, so not not a very good stroke there. I mean, 17 feet away, putting for Eagle on nine. Good stroke, but compared to everyone else, not the best. This is not the easiest putt for Junior here. He really wants... You would think the other three golfers are in for Eagle, so... Gotta sink this to stay in the game. Don't want to fall behind early. Remember, Junior is... What is he? One stroke out of a progressing position, but four strokes off first, so really good eagle there. Really good putt. Great. 
Eagle. So great eagles there. Four eagles off of hole nine. Hole 15 next. Sensei up to the T first. Nice shot. Not strong wind here, and I actually don't mind the pin position at all. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, Junior has nine iron in hand. 114 to the pin. You do have to give a bit more power on 15 than you think, but there is a bit of a tailwind, so curious to see. Is he just going to go full, a full swing on the nine? Green will kick a little bit right as well at first. Then your ball should roll to the left, kind of closer to the pin. Nice shot. Almost a full swing there. Ooh, that was really close. That was a great swing. Nice approach. Unfortunately, nice approaches don't get you uh, any lower of a score. And really all that's done is just given all three of these other nice golfers shot. a good read. So, Sensei doing something very, very similar. Ooh, that looks good. No, I... Wow. Nice okay, I thought that was in. I gotta say, I thought that was gonna be a second bang, but um, a couple inches to the right. Nice shot. Grandpa Chad taking a little bit off of his swing, and is it gonna get there? Nice it is not. Literally 1.2 inches away from dropping in. We round that down to one inch. That is insane. His ball stopped an inch before the hole. Wow. Nice shot. Wow. A little bit more power from Mrs. Sensei. Ooh, and gets a not the best bounce. So, geez. Nice approach. Four, I mean, three really good approaches. Four good approaches, though. It's just going to be four birdies here. And look at Chad's marker. I mean, it's literally hanging in the hole. That is crazy. I mean, that is just, that is just, wow. That's insane. Well, Sensei, still on minus five. Everybody else tied on four under. We got whole four here. Interesting. Very light wind. Five iron would be too much. Looks like Sensei's lining up five or three. You're gonna, obviously you're gonna have to do, like, take some off of both. Besides on the three iron, that's fair. Don't see three iron play on this or this hole very often, but oh my! Wow! Could not have been closer. These are some incredible approaches. Um, jeez. Okay, what a tee shot off on hole four. Looks like Chaz is doing something very, very similar. Ooh, but he gets a. Uh, so he actually bounced on the fairway there instead of the rough, which is what Sensei did. Chad's going to be going a bit too far, landing on the fringe, not not where you want to be in the back right fringe on hole 4. It's a tough green to put on anywhere on the right side, putting from the fringe. Pretty much GG go next. And Mrs. Sensei doing the exact same thing as, wow. In the same place too, on the fringe. Jeez. Good news for Junior though is that he's had three shots to kind of take in and make some adjustments. Ooh, is that good? No, it's not. Wow. So, both Sensei and Sensei Junior were like inches away from the hole, but one was a bit low, one was a bit high. That's crazy. So we have two fringe putts here. Birdie's gonna be hard, I have to say it. Birdie's gonna be hard. Ooh, that was a shorted putt. That was definitely a shorted putt. So two missed putts from the fringe. Chad and Mrs. Sensei should be in for par, but that means that Sensei and Junior are both going to be going up one stroke. On the two players who they have to make up strokes on, because Chad and Mrs. Sensei both in first and second occupying the advancing positions at the moment, but as it is, we might be seeing a shakeup 
in the standings after this round. That is for sure. Some incredible golfing so far. We will see what the next hole brings us. Nice we got hole five here. What is the wind? Ooh, it's 11 mile an hour. Okay. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to get enough nice power shot. here for the albatross. Should be able nice to get shot. within putting distance, though, I would assume. And nice if you can putt for eagle on hole five, you're looking pretty good. Nice Similarly shot. to hole nine. So we actually could see all eagles on hole nine and hole five in the same round. That would be pretty crazy. Well, here we go. Stroke twos. Nice like I said, I think it's going to be within putting distance, but we will see. It's nice 11 shot. mile an hour tailwind. It is actually front pin nice position, shot. so... Now, the thing is, is, like, if all four of them get eagles, it's not really going to do anything for them, because, I mean, sure, it's a low score, and obviously you love shooting low when you're golfing, but there's not going to be any advantage gained or lost. No no change in leaderboard standings, you know what I mean? So here we go. Mrs. Sensei putting first from the fringe, but only nine yards out. Putt is up, and that is good. That is a nice eagle putt from the fringe on hole five. Another fringe putt here from Sensei, eight yards. Oh, just sneaks in there, but a really good eagle putt. Normally when you have eagles on hole five, it's because you got a chip in, but uh, we're still only at one bang this video. I did say, I did guess over five and a half, so. Ooh, jeez. Chad barely sneaking that in there, but good eagle, and uh, Junior's up next. The last to putt. If you miss this, you're falling down, so you do not want to miss this. Very nice. Never a doubt. Never a doubt there. So four eagles on hole five. Pretty good game so far. Eight, seven, six, six. What do we have next? Hole ten. Okay, we like decent wind, decent pin position too. I think we might see some eagles here. The thing is though, hole ten can be tricky because you gotta get the power right. Power is a bit finicky in hole ten, but so is the aim, like the green. You bounce, when it looks flat, you bounce pretty hard to right or left, so... We'll see what these golfers can get done today. So, Mrs. Sensei the first up. She's got nine iron in hand. Adjusting to the left, that's the right play for a left pin position. Does get the bounce, ooh, just a little bit short. Seven feet short, but that is a really good read. I have to be honest, a really good read. I, I think we're gonna, at the minimum, see at least one eagle here. Because Sensei Jr. and Sensei can read that shot and Grandpa Chad's shot here and then make the adjustments necessary. Unless that's just in. Bang! Literally bang. I'm waiting to say that again. That was that was nice. That was like a perfect aim. It looks to me that it smacked the pin dead in the center. Which I think it kind of did, so. Perfect adjustment. Perfect power. Okay, maybe not dead center of the pin, but very nice eagle. Really good minus two from Grandpa Chad. I mean, he is a comfortable lead in the overall standings, but can't let your foot off the gas now if you want to make it into the final. So, Sensei Jr., can he just mimic that stroke? Yes, he can. Bang. A Sensei Jr. literal bang. Very nice chip in the eagle hole 10. I did say at the beginning of this hole, it can be hard to get eagles on, on, on this hole. Just power, green, it's tricky. And last up is Sensei. If he, he, if he gets this eagle, he will maintain his lead. But if he misses, doors open for, you know, the remainder of the round. Bang. Literally bang. Never a doubt. Never a freaking doubt. Very nice chip and eagle from Sensei. Oh, doesn't even want to show us the replay, okay. Kind of wanted to watch the replay there, but I guess... Um, eagles are so casual for Mr. Sensei, he just skips the replay. I mean, I've said this before, but nobody bangs harder than, than Mr. Sensei. There it is, minus 10, minus 9, minus 8, minus 7. This is interesting because of the way the standings were before this round and how the current live standings are. Very interesting. On to 18 here. I really don't think you can make it to the island on the left with this wind. Maybe, but I don't think so. And I don't even think you can make it to the green from the island on the right. 
pretty sure we're just going to see all four golfers nice. island hop here. Go from that tea box island to the right island to the left island to the green island. That's going to be my nice assumption. Shot. We will see how it plays out though. Nice and we will fast forward through all these strokes, nice of course, because they're, um, you know, kind of the same same stroke. So don't really need to, don't need to bore you with, with this. You know, you maybe could have made it to the Green Island if you had adjusted all the way left, because the island does jut out a little bit. But if you go around here, I mean, either way, you're going to be chipping onto the green. And if you go here, it actually doesn't look like that hard of a chip. It's a flat wind. So see what Chad can do. Very capable of making chip-ins at any point. And that was really close, all things considered. Chipping from the island on the, on the right... Onto the green with strong wind. Pretty darn good approach there. Nice shot. Mrs. Sensei might actually do it. She saw Chad's. Ooh. Nice approach. I was quite literally a millisecond away from saying B A N G. Now I'm saying nice what the rob. That was incredibly close. And Mrs. Sensei in fourth. She kind of needed that chip to drop get herself back in the game, but nice instead, shot. so far, three golfers, uh, no eagles on 18. Nice shot. Let's see what Sensei can conjure up here. Uh, the worst approach, okay. He nice. conjures up the worst approach of all the golfers. Fair play, fair play. Birdies, I think, I think we're gonna see birdies around the table. I mean, this is the most difficult putt, or position to putt from, I mean, Sensei sinks it, so... Nice. I think it's going to be three more birdies here. Nice birdie. So still one stroke separating each of the placements here. Two holes left. We have hole 11 and then we have hole 7. And then the round is over. Remember, four total rounds. Man, the standings are going to be... Uh, very, very close after this. I, d I don't even know. I haven't really been, like, adding them up in my head. I will obviously show the stats and the standings at the end of this round here. In, uh, probably a few minutes. Also, are we at four? Bang, literally bangs, I think. And I, my over-under is five and a half. Ooh. Off the tee first. Sensei nice coming. One. Maybe a foot to the left of that hole-in-one. That was crazy. That was pretty close. But, yeah. There's been... Some very close calls this game, though, that's for sure. So, Sensei Jr. with the 5. Will he get the spin necessary? He will. Oh, my goodness. You, like... You cannot be closer than that. If you're any closer, you're in the hole. Looks like a very similar shot there to Sensei's. He... Okay, pretty much the exact same shot there. Last up, Mrs. Sensei, she needs something here. She really needs something. Two holes left. Gotta make it up somewhere. Nice shot. Oh my goodness, I thought she was gonna dunk that for a second. It was kind of looking like a dunk. That was the closest approach. Nice approach. That is it for hole 11. No hole-in-ones. Probably four birdies. I mean, if I had to bet on it, I would bet four birdies. Nice birdie. Wow, what a what a game so far. I believe in round two, we had hole seven, and I think there were two or three chip and eagles. How many will there be today? It's the exact same pin position, actually, as, uh, as the hole seven on round two, where we saw, like I just said, two or three chip and eagles. There's, there's probably going to be at least one here today, maybe two, probably not three, and I would confidently say not four, but I mean, you never know. The thing with this, you know, when, when you're in a group of four golfing at Spoko Square, you get like a, almost a perfect read off of the golfers in front of you, so even off the tee and, and stuff like that.
So final hole here, Mrs. Sensei three strokes down, Grandpa Chad two strokes down, Sensei Junior one stroke down, and Sensei in the lead. There's still potential for shakeup here for sure. Chad is up first, three iron, he's gonna go spoon, I don't blame him at all. You get a much more predictable bounce and roll when you spoon. And of course you need the left side pin position. Ooh, ooh, bonk. Wow, okay. Perfect aim, too much power. Nice but yeah, if it's right side pin position, you go spoon, you're just gonna go into that tree up ahead, so you can only go at a uh, left pin, but. Mrs. Zensei taking some off that stroke. Uh, Chad had like perfect aim there, but. Oh, and Mrs. Sensei gets perfect power, nice but bad aim. Two really good reads here from, uh, or four, Sensei Jr. and Sensei. Sensei Jr. could tie it up. He could tie it up with uh, an eagle here. And he is two left. Okay, didn't quite get it right there. Nice move. Final stroke. No, not the final stroke. We have putts coming up. Final chance for a chip and eagle of this round. Will Sensei do it? Oh. My. Bang. Literally bang. Hole seven. Chip in eagle. That was beautiful. Sensei really, really stepped it up. He was three strokes out of uh, an advancing position. He had two very poor rounds. And I believe this is actually the first round since he hit infinity rank. So the confidence is flowing. What a performance by Sensei. I think we're going to see... Well, you know what? Chad doesn't have the easiest putt here. I'd be shocked if he missed, but yeah, n yeah, never a doubt, never a doubt there. And we're probably gonna see two more birdies here. Finish. Incredible performance. Sensei's first win on this uh, Grand Prix on 14 under. Very good scores, very good performance. Unfortunately, I actually lost my over under. I think there are only five bang, literally bangs, but this score puts the total at minus 47. So uh, if you bet a hundred bucks, on, on under, this is how much you made. If you bet 50, this is how much you made. If you bet 100 on Sensei to win, this is how much you made. And if you bet 50 on Sensei to win, this is how much you made. Here are the updated standings. I actually don't know what they are as of right now as I'm talking, but I will do them and then put the screenshot in the video so you know. All I know is that the final round coming up probably next week is gonna be one hell of a round. Remember, top two advanced the 18 hole final. If you enjoyed, hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next video.